get this all set up to where it's the most efficient regenerative farm there is. So what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. We are still working on this fencing project. Hopefully get the wire finished today and then start maybe on the water pipe before it gets too hot. But yeah, we have a lot, lot to do. We're gonna go and put wire just like this on this side, on this side, and then finish off the gate handles way at the end of the world. I think I'm gonna keep calling that the end of the world over there, why? It's the end of my world, it's the one that I'm building. It's kinda cool. So we're gonna get started on that. Hopefully do a lot of the water line today and uh, get this all set up to where it's the most efficient regenerative farm there is. That's my goal with this, to be the most efficient as possible to where I can spend my time doing other projects, doing other things, possibly getting other animals so we're not spending all of our time with one or two. So this should be good. So let's get to work. The best way I figured how to get this poly wire all the way to the other side is to tie it off to the end post and then take your biggest screwdriver that you have, shove it through and just let it and just walk. So let's tie it off. All right, we got wire ran all the way to here. Now, what we're gonna be doing is putting in gate handles, one of them right there. That way, we'll have another permanent fence eventually going there, and then at every four T-post, and make pretty permanent paddocks for the cows. And that'll make my life a whole lot easier when trying to move them. All I have to do is pick up a gate handle, we're done. So let's get this set up. Now the easiest way to, for me to put one of these handles in is just to pull here, make it good and nice and tight, and then come back, you know, maybe eight inches or so, and then just cut the wire. Then wrap it around, I've been doing it three times. One, three and then the extra just tie a square knot I usually like to do at least two hopefully I can do three right now it looks like I cut it too short so there we go That'll work. Then, we take the wire that we cut, put it through the little hole, tie this off a couple times as well. Man, this wind is killer. See, once we got that, we go under, and voila, we have a gate. Pretty simple. Is that the correct, perfectly correct way to do it? I don't know, but it works. That's all I care about. Now we have to go do a million more of those. So now, we have gates every 75 feet going that way. So we can just go, when we wanna get into the paddock, just come here, lift that up, come in, put it back, we're golden. All right, so the plan is to run a water line here, up this way, 
and then tee it off to where one water line goes this way, goes this way, and another wa water line goes that way to the other to the pasture we were just in. So I think I have to go to the hardware store, get some hose, uh, some pipe clamps. But yeah, this works. I'm gonna be very very happy. All right, so we've run 500 feet of water line from the well that's around the corner there all the way down that way. Now, we're running into a one little problem at the end. Let me show it to you, but we th I think we have a solution. All right, well, here's the issue, okay? We're at the end here, and when I close this valve, this wants to pop off. Now, I heated it and shoved it on there pretty good, but there's just a little bit too much water pressure and I think it's a little bit too hot right now to, um, to be doing this because the hose is pretty flexible. So I have some, what are these? Pipe clips, so we're gonna see if this works. Okay, well the clamp worked really well, that held, but the pressure built up and where I have another spigot failed. So I gotta go put another clamp on there. See, it popped off right here, which I thought I was kind of expecting. So, just gonna put a clamp on and it should work. Well, that worked beautifully, except for water shooting about maybe 35 feet in the air with all the water, with all the water pressure, which was pretty cool. So, now I'm gonna go install a couple more of uh, the access points and uh, tie them up. Now, I've had this idea of running this electric and this water line for a long time. And just so happens, last week, Justin Rhodes puts up a video doing this exact same thing and I texted him and I asked him for some details and this is what's made me really want to do this project now because I was actually asking him okay what parts you need and how you know he made all the mistakes so I didn't have to which was fantastic so thank you Justin but let me show you how this is done this is pretty cool okay so ah. so right here at one of our gates is where I want to put where I want to put an access point for the water so I'm gonna, so what I'm gonna do, got my pipe cutters, I'm gonna cut the pipe, install a T, then I'm gonna grab some extra hose, cut this, maybe six inches, and then put a half inch to three quarter inch adapter on. Then I'm gonna put this valve, this ball valve on, and then we should have water. So let's do it. Bingo, should work perfectly. Now, I'm gonna put a, a quick connect female adapter here. They just haven't came in here. Get the mail, boom, pop on a hose, then fill up their water trough wherever there's an access point. Well, look what just came in the mail. Quick connects. So we're gonna go install these. That way, all we have to do, instead of you know cranking a hose on or turning it on, just pop it on. Anything that saves time, right? This will work so much better. So, gonna go install these, and then probably a diverter, then probably call it for the day because it's getting, it's like 94 out now, so it's getting kinda hot. And that should be good enough. So now, put this on the end of the hose, pops on, pops off. Pop on, bingo. Saves time. That saves probably 30 seconds a day. That adds up quickly. Well look who decided to show up. Been working out here all day. You guys don't come say hi to me. You come here for water and only water, huh? What's up, Betty? It's okay, do your thing, do your thing. You got some drill coming down from you. Yeah. How about you two? Where's Daphne? You guys leave her again? Oh, there she is. She's hiding on the other side of uh, Yoli. Huh. Now what we do, is if they're drinking, I deserve to go like this. <sighs> I 
That feels nice. What's up, baby? Nice, cool water. It's crazy watching the cow drink. Look at her. They're just such cool creatures. Different than a dog, you know. Normally they'd be, you know, using their tongue. They just slurp it up. Huh. You know, you're drinking. Now we'll be able to have water to you 24 7 because we'll have a float valve on that. Which will make things a lot easier for you and for me. Huh. Three amigos, the three OG girls. Right here. You guys can come too. It's okay. Hey, Rose. Hey, Ellie. Come on. You gonna get your turn? You gonna cool off? There we go. And that's Daphne. She's so sweet. Doesn't let me get near her too much, but she's sweet. You're not very nice. You don't get. You don't let me get near you too much. I think we got her a little bit too old for me to kind of gentle her down. Okay, she's kind of the bossy. She's kind of the bossy cow, and she's the one that everybody follows. And she follows a bucket perfectly, so that's all that matters. All right, I got the quick connect set up on this side of the on this side of the farm in this pasture. So I'm kind of done. It's like 95 out now. Temperature's just climbing and climbing and climbing. So I think I'm done for the day. I'm gonna go in. Get a nice glass of cool water, maybe take a shower, probably take a shower right away. But yeah, tomorrow we will test this all to see how this comes out. Because so far, all the tests that we've been doing, we've been troubleshooting the little issues, looking good. So tomorrow will be the first big test and uh, see what happens. But remember, the goal of this is to become the most efficient regenerative farm there is. And I think we're well on our way of doing that. We got the fences set up almost completely now. We're just looking for gate handles because we need a lot of them. And today, Tractor Supply, when I went there, only had four. So need probably 10 more to get everything set up. But yeah, this is just gonna be an ongoing project. This will work. This will make my life easier, less stressful, and it feels good in the shade. So that's it for this one. Hit the subscribe button down below to see the continuation of this and how this goes on in the future. Because you might be seeing this three years from now and see the different changes that we make along the way. So that'd be good for future videos. So again, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Drop a comment if you like. And we'll see you next time, all right? Thanks. Bye-bye.